Aloha and welcome to another Roland MC707 tutorial. I am Unit E and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Ableton on a channel on your MC707. And if you are a Patreon subscriber of mine with the link in the description, you will also get a treat of the additional video of how to take what's coming in from Ableton and further use it to set up your drum track like a sampler. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do on your 707 is to set it up for PC on one of your tracks. To do so, simply hit the track. I will use track 8. And then pick your track type. I choose a drum track because this is also used as a sampler track sometimes. You can load these with your own samples, not just the kits inside the MC707. And then I will press shift and select, and that'll get me to a general tab where I can scroll down using the C3 or the cursor to choose audio insert. I want to use C4 to dial in PC in left and right. Then once I have that, I can exit out. Now I have this to accept the USB incoming. You do not have to hold any special buttons. You just have to plug your USB cable into the MC707 and then into your computer. We're going to be doing this just for laptops or desktops. This is not for iPads. The following video after this will show you how to do this with an iPad. After you've plugged the USB in and set your track to accept the PC incoming, Press Shift and hold it, and then press Project. You'll see your options. Go ahead and use your cursor or your C4 to get over to Settings. C4 like a button or the Enter. And you'll come up to a little Project Settings. Use your cursor to go over to PC in and turn your PC level all the way down. Holding Shift while scrolling will scroll quicker. Once it is at zero, exit out of that back to home screen. That's your main thing for getting your audio coming in, but we are going to also want to make sure that the samples or sounds coming in from Ableton are tempo synced to the MC707. So to do that, press shift, hold it, and then tap knob assign. You'll be brought to your utility menu where you can have your system settings. Again, C4 like a button or enter to choose. And then cursor over to MIDI. You want to make sure MIDI sync is either set to auto or internal and then choose sync out USB and turn it on. Those should be your only settings that you will need for this purpose. Exit out of that back to home screen. Now we go over to our computer and we look at Ableton. In Ableton, you're going to want to set the MC707 up as your audio interface. This will show up as long as you have installed your drivers correctly, and there is a video on that, or instructions are on the Roland website. Command comma will bring up your preferences in Ableton, and you can choose your driver type Core Audio for Mac and ASIO, ACO for Windows PCs. Make sure your input and output is your MC707. For this instance, input is not necessary because you're not sending sound from the MC707 to Ableton, but your output device has to be the MC707. Your input config can be whatever it is. I have these turned off for the sake of this tutorial so you can see that inputs are not necessary. One and two has to be always highlighted or it will cause an error. The output config is what you want to be interested in. This is the output from Ableton back into the 707. Channels 1 and 2 are your mix out. This is going to ignore everything else and just go straight out your mix out. It will even ignore the PC in level. So if you go over here to 3, 4, this is now coming through the USB in and paying attention 
to the PCN level that we set to zero recently. So you want 3, 4 active. You can do mono as well, but make sure stereo is active. Click OK to get out of that. And then click down into your MIDI or tempo tab, depending on your version. With 11, make sure start stop sync is on. Uh, with previous, I'm not sure this is necessary. You will already have your external tab up here. Make sure the out or input is MC707 at least, and go ahead and make the output as well. On the MIDI ports, only the in needs to be sync checked. You must do this so that Ableton syncs to the 707. If you would like the 707 to sync to Ableton, and I advise against this, especially in this situation, you would check the out on the MC707 and make sure the in is turned off. Now we have Ableton synced to the 707. We simply turn the external button on so it is highlighted, and we are now controlling Ableton with the MC707. To show you this, I will go ahead and set up two of these. We'll do three. I don't know how they're going to sound. I just threw these in here for the sake of this demo, but I'm going to fire off three tracks as soon as play starts. And play will start when the MC707 play begins. The last thing you have to do before pressing play is make sure your master out is set for 3, 4, channels 3, 4. Q out is unnecessary, but if you do Q, it will come out the mix out, so you can set that for the same or keep it something else if you like. Now, with this in mind, this should all work properly. All three of those Ableton tracks are going to the master, which is the PC in and out. And on the 707, we have turned the PC level in down, just like your external in volume, because we're s assigning it to a track. So now it's no longer needed on that PC in volume, because that was its own channel, if you will. We've assigned it to this track with the audio insert. So now the PC is coming through here. So if I start playing something, and I'll just play the loop I have, and then I'm going to stop it. So you can see it's just the drum loop over here on track one. OK. And then I'm going to show you when I do hit start on the 707, you see that all of those Ableton tracks also now start. Looks like we might be hitting some levels there. So I will turn these down. Not sure where they are. They'll come in a little quiet, but we'll adjust from there. As long as you're not redlining coming out, you're not hitting too hard of a level. So now, if I hit start on the 707 and then turn this volume up, you'll start hearing the output of Ableton. As you can see, I'll turn the congas up. You can see the playing of Ableton coming into track eight. Hitting stop will stop everything as it is. That's how you can use a track to assign your DAW coming through USB from your desktop or laptop and putting it on a track of the MC-707 to play with it. Being a drum track, I believe if you hit shift sound, you can go to the MFX, which is the instrument effects here, and we'll get something you can hear, uh, uh, except for uh, Ottawa, you'll definitely hear. So now we're going to hear Ottawa on the Ableton. So at the moment, you cannot get your master reverb going into the PC input. I have not found a way. And reverb is not a part of these instrument effects. Hopefully, there's a way around it. I haven't found it yet, but when I do, I will be sure to post and let everybody know. But do know you do have the one instrument effect, which is shift and sound. 
for a drum track, it's going to be up in the top right there. It's right around this area for shift sound on a tone track as well. So you do have that, and you can assign your knobs to control the parameters of that effect. That's all for this video. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up to spread the word. Click subscribe to stay up to date on all my new videos coming out, and ring the bell to receive notifications when they do. Thank you always for the support you guys give me, and thank you for watching.